All right, welcome to Shelly's English School. My name is Shelly. Thank you for joining me today for today's English lesson. All right, before we start, I want you guys all to remember this is kind of an active lesson. So make sure you have a piece of paper, uh, pencil ready. You're going to see some pictures on the screen. I'm going to give you some situations and then you can make some questions today. All right. So today we're going to make the question, could I? Could I? Now, if you've watched another video, we did another video in the past and we were practicing, can I? We were making questions about permission. Okay, so just to give you a quick recap, permission means I want something or I want to do something, so I must ask the question. And we practice, can I? But today we're going to use, could I? Okay, so people ask me, Shelly, what's the difference between can I and could I? Now, in regular conversation, you could use either one. Both are fine. But could I is a little bit more polite than can I. So it's more polite. Now, this means that depends on the situation, maybe you want to be more polite. So in that situation, please use could I. Okay. Also, when I use could I, and when if I don't use can I and I choose could I, sometimes it means that this question is very important to me. I really want something or I really want to do something. So this question is important. I want the other person to say yes. So in that situation, I use more polite English. So I'll use could I. Now also, sometimes people will ask you a could I question. Maybe another person, your friend, your mother, or your coworker, maybe they'll say to you, could I take, could I borrow? So you must answer them. Now this is the tricky part. If somebody asks me a can I question, my answer is yes, you can. Okay, maybe I'll say no, you can't. Okay, but it's yes, you can, no, you can't. Okay. Now the tricky thing is with could I, if somebody asks you a could I question, your answer is not yes, you could, no, you couldn't. Okay. We're not going to use that answer. If somebody asks you, uh, could I, for example, Shelly, could I borrow your pencil? Okay. My answer would be, yes, you can. Yes, you can. Okay. Or maybe I'm using my pencil, so no, so no, you can't. So even though they, their question is very polite, they said, could, could I borrow a pencil? My answer must use can. So yes, you can. No, you can't. Okay. So make sure you remember that it's a little bit tricky. Okay. So now let's get to the active part of this lesson. I hope you all have a piece of paper and a pencil ready. And if you haven't watched any other of the videos next, I am going to give you a situation. I'm going to give you a scenario. Okay. I'll also put up some pictures on the screen. Okay. So I want you to listen to the situation. I want you to look at the pictures and today, please make a could I question. All right. So look at the pictures, listen to my situation and make a could I question. But before we get to the first situation, this is a good time for me to ask you, uh, it would be a great, great help if you could hit the notification bell, subscribe to this channel, you know, comment, hit the like button. You know, if you subscribe, it helps me a lot and it helps me to make many more of these videos. So that would be great if you could do that. All right. Situation number one, situation number one. Now, I'm going to go on a vacation. I'm going to go to Hawaii, but I don't have a camera. No, 
I really want some nice photos of Hawaii, of the beach, of the forest, the jungle. My friend has a nice camera. It's, it's a very nice camera. And I, I really want it. What will I ask my friend? Okay, so remember, you're gonna make a could I question. What will you ask your friend if you are in this situation? All right, my answer, my question to my friend would be, could I borrow your camera? Or maybe, could I use your camera? Okay, both of those answers are good. If you have a different answer, please leave it in the comment section and I will respond to your questions. All right, situation number two, okay? This happens to me a lot, okay? I'm at home, but my daughter is watching another TV program. Maybe she's watching some cartoons, okay? But I love sports and I know, oh, you know, my basketball game is going to be on soon. I really want to watch this game, okay? What will I ask my daughter or my wife or if I'm at my friend's house, my mom's house, you know, I want to watch a different program. What will I ask? What will you ask? All right, so my question to my daughter or to anyone in this situation would be, could I change the channel? Could I change the channel? Okay, now let's go situation number three. All right, I want you to imagine you are at a cafe. You're at a cafe with your friend. So there are two of you, right? You find a table, but there's only one chair, okay? But the next table, there is a person sitting and that person has like four chairs, but only one person, so it's perfect. So you're gonna go to that stranger. What is your question to that stranger? All right, so my question would be, could I borrow a chair? Okay, or maybe I would say, could I use a chair? Or maybe even, could I take a chair? Okay, there are many different answers. Say, can I borrow a chair? Could I take a chair? Could I use a chair? If you have a different answer, leave it into the comment section. All right, fourth situation. Okay, I want you to imagine you are at school. You're a student. Okay, you are in class, but maybe you drank too much water at lunchtime. So you really need the restroom. What will you ask your teacher? All right, if this is me, I'll ask my teacher, could I use the restroom? Could I go to the restroom? Okay, our final situation, situation number five. Okay. I want you to imagine now you are at work, but, oh no, oh, I have a fever. I don't feel good. So I go into my boss's office, or you go into your boss's office, right? You don't feel good, you are sick. So what will you ask your boss? All right, my answer, my question to my boss would be, could I go home early? Could I leave? Okay. Could I go home? Could I leave? Two questions, if you have a different question, Again, leave it down below and I will check all of your answers. Okay, so that brings us to the end of our lesson. Today we practiced, could I? Okay, remember this is a more polite way to ask for permission. If you really want something, if it is very important to you, then maybe it's better to use a more polite form of the question. So not can I? Because it's important, I will use could I, okay? So again, could I is followed by an action word, a verb, All right? I hope you liked the lesson. Uh, 
you can rewind it, watch this again, go do the situations again. And I have other lessons as well, so please make sure you check those out. If you didn't see the Can I video, go back and watch that as well. There are different situations for you to practice there. All right, so again, my name is Shelly. Please hit the notification bell, subscribe to this channel. It helps me, you know, I can make a lot more videos. I look forward to studying with you in the future. All right, so thank you again. See you next time.